a lot of viewers from Lisbon Airport. This was not normal, it was kind of weird after going through so many airports and having this done and then just walking out of this airport. I've got a bit of a problem viewers, I've just arrived in Lisbon and look at this, I am homeless. There's a bag, I've not even booked accommodation yet. The metro I think is outside there somewhere, you need to get the metro to the city centre. Uh, I just thought I'd show you a wee bit of Lisbon Airport for the guys that like the airport videos. If you've not been to Lisbon before, we coffee fix there. There is lifts up there to the check-in points up there. And I've literally just come off a flight, walked all the way out. There is no passport stamps, no checks, no queuing. I literally walked off the plane onto the transfer bus and straight out the airport. It was absolutely brilliant. It's just a pity I don't have any accommodation booked. There's a wee relay shop, so if you're coming to Lisbon Airport, maybe you're meeting somebody here, or you're going to be heading out, um, going back to the UK or somewhere else, I'll just show you what it's like, just before you get through security. So many flights here, uh, Paris, London, Madeira, Amsterdam, check out my videos in Amsterdam, lovely city. So we've got a wee um, cafe here, it looks pretty nice. Got some signs here for the metro, so the metro is going to be outside to the right. There's also a bus, but I think the metro is going to be quicker. Tourism bus, I don't even know what that is. So the metro is going to be just outside here. I'm assuming taxis and stuff out there. All right, metro is going to be down there, so we'll head down there in a minute. Let's see if there's anything else here. Upstairs, I'll take it so you check in, go through security. Lost luggage over there as well. Check out this big departure board, there's a lot of, a lot of flights going out from here. What have we got here? Big departure board. It's going to waste it, doesn't it? You should just put like a sport on it, give a football, big screen like that. <laughs> it's pretty busy here, a lot of people waiting, people can off flights. Um, ATMs exchange your money, don't know what the exchange rates here. The airports are never usually good, although charge commissions, so I don't really know. It's a Western Union there. If you need somebody to transfer money, there's a wee pharmacy as well. If you're feeling unwell coming off the flight, there's somebody in the flight with a really, really bad cough next to me. The only person in the flight that was coughing was sitting right next to me. So we're a wee bit worried about that. We'll see how that goes. What have we got down here, anything else? Oh, a wee ice cream shop. This is where you get the Lisbon card. Um, it includes many tourist attractions and the metro. You just uh, scan the card. It can save you a lot of money if you're planning to go a lot of places in Lisbon. I don't know if I'm going to be getting it, I don't think so, because I'm only here 24 hours, maybe 48 at the most. So I'm not sure if I'll get it. You phone the phone shop, any issues with your phone? Oh, fancy a wee ice cream, I definitely do actually. What else have we got here? There's normally a queue for that Lisbon card, I'm surprised there's not. Oh, Heineken. I hope it's not a place where the Heineken is prominent. I'll take a wee Sagres just ahead of Heineken. Superbock, I'm not that keen on. Uh, Sagres, quite like. A wee bistro here. Terminal 2, check in up the stairs. Another check in up the stairs as well. Let's see what we've got up the stairs. I might as well. I've no accommodation, but there's nothing to do with yours. We'll have to see what's here. They've got lockers up here. Oh, I've been up the wrong bit there. See if we can go up here and I'll just come straight back down. Car parking's there, um, a few hack car places, I think, back there as well. Let's see what the wee Heineken bar's like. We're really excited to see it. Okay, what have we got up here? Oh, a few more things up here as well. Okay, so there's a the bar doing the Heineken. I don't know where I'm going to have my dinner, I've not even got a hotel and I mind dinner of yours. More taxis up here as well. Boarding gates for Terminal 1 up there. Luggage shop there. Mobility access looks maybe there as well. There's quite a lot in this airport before you even get through security. I'd imagine when you go through security it's going to be pretty big. I'm not going to be flying back from this airport, I'm going to fly back from Faro. It's quite a nice airport, Faro as well. Yeah, they've got a lot in here actually. Let's see what we get around the corner. Just some check-in desks I think. 
they've got Airport School Premium Customer Lounge, I think, through there as well. Oh, check this out, girls. More big screens wasted on the airport. <laughs> Get the football on Chelsea Ram and just about to come on. We chemist as well. A lot of these self check ins now. You can avoid waiting the queue, which is pretty good. Oh, Burger King here as well. So, all these places before you're even really in the airport. Burger King on so many airports, aren't they? There's more Burger Kings than McDonald's in airports, in my experience, anyway. Okay, that's going to take us up towards the check in desk. I'm not going to be doing that. Toilets there. You've got a valley parking service there, I've noticed as well. I think I've got lost here. Check this out. Tess, you lab there. I don't know how, how many they're doing these days. There's also some countries still with restrictions. Now, yeah, what's up here? Have I been up this bit? I've got lost already. I need to sit down somewhere and book a hotel, really. Oh, that's the way down. So that's the way I've, done it. I've been down. Okay, viewers, so wish me luck. I'm going to book somewhere in central Lisbon. I need to sit down, take 10 minutes at least. I don't know whether to book for one or two nights. Do I risk booking in for two nights? And then if I don't like the place or the location, could I stop there? Or do I book in one night and then see how it goes? Then I've got the pain tomorrow, checking out. I've got the bag and all that. I need to crack on my videos. So I don't know, viewers. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the wee tour of Lisbon Airport. If you're new to the channel, do my wee favour, it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost anything, hit the wee subscribe button. I've got lots of videos in airports, if you like airports, anywhere I go, I'll take a video, if I can, showing you what the airport's like inside. I'm going to be heading down to the metro, let's go back down the stairs viewers. Check out the playlist, I've got videos, Tenerife South and North Airport now. Uh, Lanzarote, Fortaventura, Gran Canaria, Malaga, Palma, Mallorca, Ibiza, uh, where else? Amsterdam, anywhere else I've been? Faro, I mentioned earlier on as well. Can't remember anywhere else. Glasgow Airport and Presswick, of course. Okay viewers, that's me back down, out the front, I'm going to be going to the metro, uh, but I think I'm going to need to sit down somewhere quickly and book a damn hotel, or hostel, could be a hostel viewers, it's pretty pricey Lisbon for hotels, there's lots of really nice hostels but, so we'll see viewers, thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed this interesting one in Lisbon airport, fly right through, loved it, um, but I've got no accommodation, that's the only problem, see you in the next one.